Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the US markets end of day analysis for the uh, Monday, 16th of May 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignal.com and get your latest signals and market updates from leading providers, uh, myself included. And you can download this app via the App Store uh, on Android and uh, obviously uh, Google Play as well. So, okay. Now, in terms of uh, US markets, now obviously we've had quite a stellar reversal, uh, and that's on the back of a potential flash crash overnight in uh, Asia with the Hang Seng down, uh, I think it was 2% at one time within a matter of minutes, and that certainly is obviously raising an alarm bell. Uh, we had the Nikkei and the Hang Shanghai more or less trade flat, uh, and uh, given the fact that uh, oil prices certainly have managed to uh, break higher, we are now into the four, almost approaching the $48 level, and it'll be interesting to see how the markets trade there or there from. Okay, so again, Asian markets will be important in terms of economic data out overnight. Let's just have a look. Other than the RBA, we do have uh, Kiwi inflation expectations, Japanese industrial production, uh, and then obviously we've got ECB speech will be important. Then we have UK retail price RPI, inflation gauge tomorrow. That again will be important. CPI and RPI, and obviously PPI. So quite a good. Uh, uh, intense gauge of uh, inflation and again that will be interesting to see whether or not uh, the BO is hawkish or dovish going into the uh, potential Brexit vote. We do have US data as well, we've got a global dairy auction tomorrow, so Fed Lockhart, Fed Williams, okay so again it's going to be interesting tomorrow now but for now I think the story really was uh, number one. US dollar continues to rally so USD JPY certainly helped the uh, US markets also, oil prices, again, with regards to supply concerns, potentially from Nigeria, uh, and uh, that certainly has sent the price of oil higher, and which in turn obviously has inflated the uh, US markets high. Also, Mr. Buffett revealing his uh, potential holdings of Apple certainly uh, helped trigger a short squeeze as well. So let's try and decipher. I mean, now, in terms of economic data for the US, uh, net net, it was negative. Uh, we had. Um, uh, New York State Manufacturing Index coming in at minus 9.02 and the uh, housing data certainly, you, housing market index certainly coming in weak as well. So two gauges there of weaker US uh, US economic data and yet still we managed to uh, uh, rally. Uh, also with regards to Chinese data over the weekend, certainly very negative uh, in terms of retail sales, industry and production and foreign direct investment and yet still the US markets rally now. The rally itself is circumspect. And the reason why I say it's circumspect is because it's obviously moved higher. Well, not obviously, but it did actually move higher on, light, light, uh, on weaker volume. Now, now, allow me just to uh, elaborate. You can see a daily chart here, and you can see that it's actually uh, weaker than yesterday's, or well, should we say Friday's volume. So, again, that is a slight cause for concern. But, nevertheless, it needs to be respected. It is a bullish engulfing candle. So, we shall see whether or not it can sustain itself. But, uh, regardless, we still are in a HNS formation until we take out the until we take out the pivot high at twenty eighty five. The buyer still remains bearish given the HNS formation. Now let's go over to the sixty minute chart. Sixty minute chart certainly has held at resistance at twenty seventy. We hit a pivot high of twenty seventy one, twenty seventy two. I am actually short the um, the actual S and P five hundred. And my stop loss remains at 2074. So if I'm wrong, then obviously we are going to move higher and go into that 2084, 2085 region. But for now, I do expect that resistance at 2070 hold to hold, and we should uh, potentially flush lower. Now, in terms of the actual move itself, it was very impressive given the fact that uh, we had a uh, potential pivot low at uh, 2040, and I think we were low as 2030 after or, or, or early on. Now, obviously, this market has rallied from 2040 all the way to 2070, so it was a 30 handle rally, which was very, very impressive, okay, to say the least. Now, again, for now, resistance zone remains at this 2072 level and slightly above your resistance in the 2074 zone. So it's very unlikely for us to uh, potentially uh, move into that zone. If we do, then it certainly is impressive and hats off to the actual move itself. Okay, now I'm going to cross reference that move with the. Uh, the actual uh, IWM, the Russell. Okay, so if I just bring up the daily chart, the Russell 2000, again, we certainly still remain weak. Now, the same type of formation is on the Russell as well, so bear that in mind, folks. You have this uh, h &S formation here. Okay, so let me just draw that in for you so you know. 
so it certainly is being confirmed via the Russell okay and looking for a potential flush on the Russell given the uh, lower high so again looking to potentially flush down to this region here okay so the Russell certainly remains weak as well okay and therefore it's confirming the weakness in the S&P 500 okay let's bring up the Dow Jones the Dow Jones itself let's go to the daily chart first and foremost okay so again a potential inside bar and it's the same formation here as well so uh, certainly is a it certainly looks like the bulls certainly tried their best at uh, uh, refraining from a potential market sell-off so again hns formation looking at the head and we're still so sort of, sort of meandering at this uh, potential neckline so but for now like i said the the, the the bears certainly seem to be in control here until we take out or potentially make out a new high or carve out a new high if I just cross, cross reference that with the Dow, Trump, Dow Jones uh, Transportation Index, and you can clearly see the Dow Jones Transportation Index remains weak. We've taken, we've obviously retested previous uh, support equals resistance, and this bias certainly clearly, uh, from my perspective, remains lower. I'm looking for the Dow Jones Transportation certainly to move lower. Bringing up the Nasdaq, Nasdaq was a biotech story, and obviously uh, with regards to Warren Buffett's potential uh, shareholding as well being declared. And that obviously helps sentiment because they obviously uh, think Mr. Buffett knows something that we don't. Okay, so again, a thrust higher on the Nasdaq, very impressive. Sorry, the biotechs, uh, certainly impressive with that potential merger deal. Okay, and a buyout. So again, that's certainly being helped in terms of the biotechs. The uh, 60 minute chart, let's just zoom in here. Uh, obviously, we are coming up to an approaching resistance. We do have gap filled uh, resistance in this zone here so watch out for that level of resistance previous support equals resistance here obviously horizontal resistance as well okay so certainly uh, multiple levels of resistance on the biotechs now the uh, uh, the actual um, semicon let's bring up the semiconductor same kind same concept here gap fill resistance and that's exactly where we failed okay uh, impressive thrust given the fact that we were making lower lows and lower highs so again you do have their own fill gap remains open on the uh, semiconductors so certainly an argument to potentially move lower. We finish with a bearish engulfing candle. So from my perspective, looking for a flush lower. If there is going to be an inverted head and shoulders, we need to carve out a right shoulder before we move higher. Okay. Moving over to the Nasdaq now. Let's just bring up the Nasdaq itself. Okay, here we are. Okay, daily chart. The Nasdaq certainly in no man's land, holding that 200 MA, looking at lower lows and lower highs, resuming on the daily chart. 60 minute chart at the moment yes you do have resistance in this region uh, very unlikely to uh, actually pierce that 4 400 level from my perspective but we certainly need to pay more attention to this 10 minute chart of the S of the nasdaq i did expect that channel to break down the or break on the downside that hasn't occurred uh, and even also i expected this resistance here to hold and that certainly hasn't held as well so this move is very very bullish from my perspective if we do go back into this zone again which is around the 4365 zone, 4360 uh, zone. This may well be an area that I may cover. I may well cover and uh, certainly uh, switch my potential bias to long. So again, this is a zone that I'll be watching quite carefully in terms of the uh, the actual Nasdaq itself going coming back into that one. 4360 zone, given the fact that we've hit a 4395 pivot high. So again. Uh, Nasdaq uh, at the moment bearish but cautiously uh, bullish okay in terms of the VIX let's look at the VIX the VIX is back into support now so looking for the VIX to potentially move higher obviously then that, that triggers a risk aversion trade in the rest of the markets and therefore you are looking at a potential downdraft at this juncture okay so in terms of the uh, the actual VIX itself so watch out for the VIX if once we get back into that 10.4 level from my perspective that and also you've got gap fill resistance here as well so two resistance zones and that will obviously signify a potential risk or a change in potential risk as well so again going to watch that watch out for that carefully okay now uh, certainly VIX is indicating that you are looking for a sell-off before we obviously attempt to even attempt to move higher let's bring up the Wiltshire let's look at the Wiltshire 5000 get a broad range of the market now again that certainly is exhaustion from my perspective certainly indicating a move lower 60 minute chart at the moment is a fail bull flag and again indicating a move lower from my perspective but if we do come into that zone here it, these two zones are our potential support zones so again looking for a flush down to this 2500 not potentially even down to 20,800 so so 2900 2800 so again those are two zones i'm going to watch out for so wheelchair from my perspective certainly remains bearish therefore my bias would remain bearish in the market as well 
Again, now the USD JPY uh, it does play an important role. Certainly pushed higher, and that obviously has helped the uh, the US markets. Now we are consolidating here, looking for a potential lower high. Okay, so that certainly is the overall and recurring theme. 60 minute chart at the moment you obviously have uh, resistance up here uh, you are still obviously putting a triple top here so i won't expect anything more and therefore looking for the us markets to sell off that's my understanding okay or should i say the uh, usd jpy to sell off which triggers the us markets to sell off as well okay let's just break down the financial sector because it's always important the finance sector is an inside bar so again Certainly bearish from my understanding. Okay, looking for a potential flush in the uh, in the market itself. So again, inside bar certainly is an A bullish sign. Looking at the other uh, sectors, let's bring up the uh, energy. Okay, let's bring up the daily chart. Okay, so a daily chart at the moment of uh, energy sector. Let's just have a look here. Uh, and again, same type of concept for me. It certainly is carving out a potential H and S formation. Your left shoulder is here. Your head is here and then therefore looking for a potential flush down to this uh, zone here so energy certainly remains weak as well so hence the reason why i was quite perplexed as to the uh, the actual movement in the market this, uh, this afternoon i'm happy to uh, certainly show in the face of that okay so all eyes will be on the R R B rba so again it'll be interesting to see what the rba can concoct and come up with and uh, what the uh, reaction there is as well. So interesting, RBA inflation expectations from the RBNZ, NZ. And it will be quite important, I think, from my perspective, is that uh, which way the uh, the commodity currencies uh, are to move, because they may well signal a potential move in the equities as well. Okay, I think that's a market wrap. Let me just quickly bring up the price of oil before I finish this up. Uh, okay, oil prices. On the daily chart, at the moment, you are looking at the oil price, obviously, uh, uh, certainly thrusting into previous support equals resistance so this zone here that we're looking at is certainly uh, quite an important zone okay and looking for potential weakness in the price of oil at this uh, juncture okay so bear that in mind but having said that if we do go back on test 46 that will be a key uh, support zone as well okay be sure to uh, visit tradesingler.com and download the latest app goodbye now